Cam Thomas out of LSU. Bucket getter. 24 points per game. First team all SEC. Absolute flamethrower. But he slotted to be in like the 20s or so. What's your, what's your take on his game and, and where's his biggest weaknesses? He's a great scorer. He's a bucket getter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the argument of, uh, you know, if you're a basketball player, if you're a hooper. <laughs> so, that 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 whole thing that's been coming up this past week, uh, man, this kid's a, hoop, a hooper. He just, he can get buckets. And I'm not going to get into the difference between the two or whatever like that. But he's a good basketball player. Three-level scorer. Very smart. Like, basketball acumen is very high in order to get his shot off. As we said, he's 6'5". Really strong body, but he's not that athletic um, in the sense of, you know, really just finishing at the rim and doing a lot of stuff. Like he's 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 very he's very inconsistent sometimes, but when he gets his buckets, he gets his buckets. Like he reminds me a lot of THT, you mm -hmm, know, one of those mm -hmm. guys that he doesn't look super athletic and he isn't really athletic. But there's certain moments where he'll catch you off guard because of the fact that he's not that athletic. He's like that, but he's a better scorer than THT from jump. Like if there's a guy that like could live off of uh, physical play and, you know, being a very skilled uh, off ball cutter, mm -hmm. he finds guys asleep a lot defensively. And then on the flip side, he, get kind, he gets kind of burned uh, off ball. Yeah, I heard, off -ball I heard the defense is like just, yeah, yeah it's defense just non-existent at this game. <laughs> it's not, it's not there, but but uh, man, if you want a guy that comes off the bench that's like a, a spark plug, yeah. yeah, you know. But I I don't know how much that fits with, with what their defensive principles are now with the Knicks. Yeah. Um. That would be a very hard sell for me. But if you wanted a guy that you know, let's say like, let's say he did fall into the second round by chance. I don't know. You know, if he did, you you take might you might take a flyer on him just off of his scoring ability and having a guy that. He he has the tools to be a good defender and a good uh, playmaker. He does like he has the skill set and tangibles, but he doesn't show it. So that's you know that's been a detriment to his uh, to his draft stock. So uh, I like him. I don't love him. Yeah, love his scoring ability. You know, like if you told me that he was going to end up being on like a team like Memphis or OKC, yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. You know, he's. He's fit for one of those type of teams, but defensively, if they're going to be as this defensive stalwart as they want to be, I don't know if the Knicks are going to look at him. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that will be a gamble there. But hey, you know, with Tibbs, if you don't play defense, you're not going to play. So may, maybe that gets him in, in tune. Obviously, it got a lot of guys going. You know, Tibbs got a lot of guys going defensively last year that you didn't expect. That's so true. you never That's know. He, he might be able to come in here and fit in. But yes. I mean, he could, he could kind of maybe he gets on his good side also because Cam Johnson is a dog. Like yeah. he's, yeah. he's just one of those rough kind of, you know, we're talking like rough around the edges, welcome contact. I mean, like one of those, a strong pump fake kind of guy, mm -hmm. you know, like he wants to go to the line. He wants to get the other team's uh, bigs or wings in foul trouble because of physicality, not just off of ticky tack fouls. Yeah. So, so, so that's just something attacking. that could be welcomed by Tibbs and how he sees him being a fit and as you said if you don't play defense you don't play so if, you know one you know one hand washes the other two washes yeah. face so <laughs> we'll see how that goes with that interesting indeed